Abai, we are the Red Fort now and we will show you inside, give you a virtual tour. Fantastic, it's quite busy in a nice sunny day. And the nearest metro station is uh, Lal Kila or Chandni Chowk. Uh, Chandni Chowk is about 5 minutes walk and Lal Kila is just the opposite across the road. So stay with me and I will give you a virtual tour of this historic UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Red Fort. busy day and I'll give you all the information you need uh, regarding the, uh, the Red Fort. There's a temple there and there's a Gurdwara just five minutes and we will also go to Chandni Chowk. I will show you the old parts of Delhi. This used to be the old capital. So I will show you that as well. So stay with me. Also, I'll leave some uh, information in the description box if you want to read of the history. Uh, there is an archaeological survey out there, you can scan and get all the information. Uh, but this is the main gate, so let's go inside. So, the ticket for the foreigner is 600 rupees, and for the local is uh, 60 rupees. Uh, if there is a lady with you, you can quite quickly go right in the front. You don't have to wait in the long queue. So if you have a lady with you, just tell her to go right in the front of the queue. Absolutely near the counter and they will just give it the ticket to you. So that's the advantage of coming with a lady here. So there you go. We're going through the main entrance. Uh, there was a security check. Uh, pretty smooth and no issues. Long queues but moving very fast. So let's go through the tour. So we are going to the main entrance now and uh, this used to be called the Mina Bazaar so where all the shops used to be in Golda times the queens apparently or the royal families to come here for shopping and I think it was all also for the public at times but there you go and I saw you some shops there on the, through the corridor on both the sides still is existing after three four hundred years the Mina Bazaar the shops. Beautiful designs. In the summer it must be really cool here because I can feel the breeze all those winters and I can imagine in hot summers of India this must be like a bit of a relief very high ceilings very cool and obviously here very open spaces as you come out of the bazaar they are like open spaces and trees and you know the big buildings Information on the bazaar, the Chatta Chok, actually. I stand up a little bit. And, uh, in buildings now, we've uh, done with the Chatta Chok, the, the shops. And now, there you are, those are the shops over there. 
and we're going towards the main building where the emperor, uh, the apartment and, and where he used to meet the public. So we'll go there in a second. ...of the palace uh, complex. This is Norbert Khanna, uh, the main gate. And uh, whenever a dignitary or an emperor used to enter the complex, they used to play music, a uh, special kind of music five times a day. So it's a very beautiful uh, entrance to the main complex. Uh, quite amazing. So let's have a look. I mean, in this really glory, it must be really beautiful. Uh, still well maintained, luckily, by government of India. And I think also the British looked after it. And it's still the original artwork still surviving. Uh, that's the place where, uh, that's the complex rather than the courthouse where the court is or for the public, for them common person it's beautiful artwork on the walls and that is we'll go over there as well in a second so the emperor used to sit here and used to meet the common people old building for the public where emperor used to sit and we will go inside in a minute and that's the door we came from Nobathana or the drum house and imagine walking people walking all the way to see the emperor so we are in the building where uh, the emperor used to give his uh, audience to the common man or officials and this is the uh, uh, the throne I think it's marble very similar to what you find in uh, Aga Taj Mahal. He was the same emperor uh, who built Taj Mahal as well. So as you can see the symmetry and uh, when people arrive from that gate here and the emperor sits here and you can see who's coming from the main gate. As you can see from the, the main the door and the emperor can see who's coming for the audience. So very clear view and also the dignitaries can see the emperor and they can pay their respects. So as you see, look at the arches, the pillars, the red sandstone, quite beautiful. As I was saying, this is Divani Arm. The Hall of the Public Audience, 1628 to 58. Emperor received the general public and had their grievances. You can pause and uh, read the information. Uh, he's going towards the, the apartment of the Emperor, his uh, private apartments and his private dwellings. So we're going to go there in a second. Right behind this dwelling, this building, so you know no long commutes for the emperor just walking distance to his office so you know that's the benefit i suppose of being an emperor everything in local vicinity uh, audience chambers and apartments of the emperor and the spring area the mosque so this is his office uh, where he's to meet the public and then right behind is i think uh, the only meant for special people there's a fountain here and uh, so let's go and check it out it's quite nice and beautiful considering that just outside this red fort there's a complete chaos <laughs> and sound and pollution and public so if you want to escape you know you want a bit of peace and quiet it's not a bad area it's not a bad place to come and just spend your time uh, as you can tell, very green, lush green, nice gardens. Quite nice. I wish they had the fountains going as well. Uh, not sure why it's closed, but it would have been nice if they had the fountains running. Just adds to the ambience. 
have a look at the architecture it's quite beautiful and I went to Agra I made a video on Taj Mahal and the Agra fort uh, you know do watch it I'll put in the description link again very beautiful and very uh, huge place as well so there you go I, th I think I'm not sure but looks like this was when the last Mughal king was defeated it seems the British uh, took over and they have some very European style uh, buildings over there and I, I'll go and check them out and I think this was probably the army cantonment for the British but I will check it out and confirm Obviously, the emperor got the best artisans and the craftsmen to, to do the building work for him. The art and the craft work, the carving is quite magnificent, even after four or five hundred years old. The fountains. Fountains used to be featured because used to, I, I take it it used to be very hot at the time, and even it gives the coolness with the fountains you can see the inside there's a fountain so inside the this building so it is to keep the place cool so this is Rang Mahal you can pause and read Rang Mahal is where his queen and the, his uh, I suppose mistresses used to live in the apartments and then you can see there's a canal of uh, it's called the, the canal um, the Rang Mahal means palace of colors so it was painted beautifully from inside it's obviously gone six apartments it says and then obviously uh, the stream of paradise Nahiri Bisht so this used to be the water feature here it used to be called the paradise the stream of paradise. The canal of paradise was the alternate to air conditioning at the time. This is Mumtaz Mahal, uh, the private apartment or the chambers of the, the beloved queen of the emperor. Uh, it's called Mumtaz after he, Queen Mumtaz. So you can stop and read. Again, part of the royal palaces. So this was especially for the beloved queen of the emperor. And everywhere inside, You'll see the water features, how open, how tall the ceilings. So this must be the water feature, probably it's gone now. But, uh, to keep the apartment cool, how beautiful this apartment must be at, once, at one point. The private chambers. probably the mosque it's quite beautifully uh, the artist the carvings and the work on the wall is just amazing it must be the marble uh, you can't go inside because it's blocked and there's a security there as well again there's a fountain running through from there right up to the inside this building so there were three apartments on this side three on the other side so six apartments in Rang Mahal and look at the work here it's just quite simply beautiful 
uh, unfortunately can't go inside but I'll try to show you if I can zoom in it is quite amazing I stand corrected this is not the boss but this is the Emperor's private chamber uh, connected to Rang Mahal so queens can just whosoever he wants you to see just can, can just come to his apartment or is this the one I'm sorry I'm a little bit confused here Okay, so this is the private apartments of the Emperor. I'm getting it all wrong today. <laughs> I do apologize uh, my friends but I'll put it in the captions or in the titles on each screen. So this is the private chamber. It's quite beautiful. Let's have a look. It's quite nice. You can't go inside. And again, just put a card in some it's quite there's some work going on. This is the information, you can stop for read it. And this is the private chambers. How do you go? It's a shame that the government does not look after this beautiful building. It's quite amazing. You can, you can, you can tell that in its peak, it must be so beautiful. It's quite amazing. So the peacock throne was removed from here in 1739 by Nadasha. So you can pause and read about this palace. The Hammam, where the emperor and his family used to come and take the bath. And this is it. The Royal Hammam. And this must be the mosque. Moti Masjid. So this was built by Aurangzeb for his personal use. He would take a shohu from his bedchamber and then come here and pray. And also used by the ladies. So you can pause and read. Can't go inside, but you can see. have a look. And then there is another palace there. I'll tell you the name. Um, Hado Pavilion okay. and the Shahi Burj, the tower at the back. So, so guys, I hope you're enjoying this. This is quite, um, I would say to you, give yourself a few hours, come around here, spend a good afternoon and then go to lunch for, to Chandni, for lunch to Chandni Chok, uh, which we will do in a minute. Unfortunately, my battery is running low on this. Uh, I have got another battery. I will try to use. I'll show you Chandni Chok as well. I did make a Chandni Chok video on my last visit, but I'll try to make another one. But this is another palace. So you can imagine this is quite a huge property for the king, and uh, quite nice palace. We are extreme now on the corner of the complex. And you can see the water fountain right in the middle there. Uh, the water source maybe flowing down right through. You can see the fountains all the way to the hammams and to the private chambers. It's quite beautiful. Thank you. 
Right in the center of uh, Savan and Bahadur, the palaces, the buildings you see in the background. And uh, the one over here is work in progress at the moment. So, guys, I think I've more or less concluded uh, the tour. Um, and I do apologize. I think I messed up this video with all the names. I got confused by um, all the markings. So I do apologize but I'll make sure they're correctly labeled in the captions when I edit the video. So I'll carry on now and if there's anything more interesting I will definitely show them to you. But this is the inner chambers and the private area of the of the emperor. Well, guys right on the other side of the uh, palace complex there's a canteen here, cafeteria. You can come here it's expensive by indian standards and the food was pretty average but you're feeling your coffee or tea or some indian snacks so you can come down here um, for a quick quick munch we got something Taji Subhas Chandra Bose and Indian National Army inaugurated by Narendra Modi so if you're coming down here you can come to this museum as well if you're interested in Indian freedom struggle so it's a very beautiful British building I'll go inside and have a look but you can come down here as well Friends, I've just realized all these buildings, the British style buildings you see, are actually museums. So there are different, three or four different type of museums, and I didn't buy the ticket, unfortunately. Uh, but you can get the tickets uh, at the ticket counter or do it online. So all the buildings you will notice, like these ones, they are all actually, they're all actually museums. So again, 